I had a phrase in my heart this week. It's easy to be critical. It's easy to be overly concerned with what other people are doing. It's easy to be that person that's in the back of the room throwing stones at everybody who's at the front talking or making the decisions. But it takes courage to believe. So thank you for tuning into this episode. My name is Kara Marie Morris. And remember that every time that you tune in, that Jesus has a word in season for you. In summer and winter and spring and fall, in morning, noon and evening, you there through it all. What's amazing as we look at the teachings of Jesus Christ, so much of the way that Jesus taught was dependent on the heart posture of those people, the people that were humble, the people who didn't say, I know everything. Those are the people that he revealed who he was. The person that the woman at the well who shouldn't have even been in physical contact or face-to-face -face conversation with a Jew, much less a rabbi, much less the son of God. But he revealed the kingdom of heaven. He said, those that our worshipers must worship in spirit and truth and that the Messiah had come to her today. He revealed who he was. And then the religious leaders who did not have a humble heart posture, they would ask him directly, are you the son of God? And he said, well, you say so. He did not respond to them based on circumstances. He saw into their hearts. So the phrase again that I talked about at the beginning is, it's easy to be the one that's critical, but it takes courage to believe. It takes courage to say, God, I believe you no matter what. It takes courage to stand for righteousness sake. It takes courage to say, I don't care what's going on. I don't care what other people are doing. I don't care what this church did or what this church didn't do. I don't care what the leader said or didn't do. What I know is I'm going to submit myself to the word of God. And if the word of God says it, then I believe it. And that's the final word on it. I have courage to stand. I have the strength in face of impossibilities. The strength in, in front of impossible situations. It, the strength, even though maybe, yeah, natural feelings of fear or anxiety are there. God has given me the courage to stand and to not be overcritical, and to not be the person who's throwing stones from the back of the room and saying, oh, pfft, same old, same old. They're gonna be the same way forever. They're saying the same thing they said 20 years ago. I can't control what they're doing. I can't control what the political system is. I can't control any of that. But what I can do is I can control my attitude. What I can do is say, God, no matter what's going on in the world, I can control the attitude that I have. I can face what's going on with courage. In John 16, 33, Jesus said, In John 16, starting in verse 31, it says, Now do you believe, Jesus replied, a time is coming and in fact has come when you will all be scattered. He's talking to his disciples, the people that walked with him, that were the closest to him. And he's saying, you will all be scattered, and each one of you to your own home, and you will all leave me alone. No one's going to believe in me. But he said, but yet I am not alone, for my father is with me. For I have told you these things so that in me you will have peace. In this world you're going to have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. So sometimes we try to avoid trouble because we've been hurt. We try to avoid things. We try to be the critical one, the sarcastic one. I, I've been there. I've tried to use it as a defense mechanism to try not to be hurt or to try not to invest too much so that I'll look stupid. That, oh yeah, that no, that, that had, didn't even do, do with me. But, but God is on our side. And no matter what's happening, we don't have to defend ourselves as long as we're following the principles of the word of God. The word of God is going to defend us. So I have the ability because of Christ's ability in me to do what it says in Philippians 2 and in verse 14. It says, do everything without grumbling or arguing. And in the Amplified, it says, or without fault finding. There is a freedom in letting go of fault finding. I have been that person before where I, I just see all the problems. 
And really, I see all those problems because they're really problems that I had to deal with in my own life, but I didn't have the knowledge of it. I didn't have the humility to deal with it. And I didn't have the courage to see it. So I can ask God, I can say, God, I have the courage to believe. I, I don't care what's going on on the right. I don't care what's going on on the left. I don't care what's going on behind me. God, I want you. I seek you. I want your word. And that's it. I'm going to do everything that I can within my power, empowered by the Holy Ghost, to do everything without finding fault in people. And God will meet you there because he is love. And that love will empower you to see people the way he sees them. So that's my short word and season for this week. It's easy to be critical. If you're just reverting to the natural man, but it takes courage and praise the Lord God. He, he, he equips us with that strength. Jesus said, take heart, that's courage. He encourages us to be courageous to stand strong in the face of impossibility, in the face of feeling like I have to defend myself or I don't wanna to get too invested or I don't wanna get, oh, this may get messy. But Jesus said, take heart, you're not doing this alone so that we are able to let go of fault fighting and find freedom following the principles and the guide that is the word of God. So thank you for watching this video. Remember that every time that you open the word of God, that Jesus always has a word in season for you.